the movie's narrative begins by introducing a couple. Annie's son had died in a car accident some time ago, because of which she was always very worried, so that's why her husband Paul. The doctor had said that he should take his wife to a new place, which will give her peace of mind, and she will come out of old memories. Now that's why Paul and Annie were going to shift to their new house. When they both come to their new house, they spend the night watching the movie for the first night. Meanwhile, we can see her son's picture which was in the frame, it falls down and breaks. One day when Annie was alone at home, she hears noises from the basement of the house. When she goes and looks, her son's gloves were lying there. As soon as she tries to pick them up, she feels like someone is standing behind her. When she turns around, there was no one there. She came upstairs with her son's gloves. And in the evening while eating, she tells her husband Paul, I feel the spirit of my son in this house. It feels like he is with us. But Paul says to her, why are you thinking like this? I have brought you here so that you can forget the memories of your son. Try to understand Annie, our son is dead. He will never come back. That night Paul calls a company which used to fix the electricity. He tells them that there is a burning smell coming from our basement, so please come and check as if there is a power failure. The company tells them that one of our men will come to you who will come and check the electricity of your house. That's when Annie comes there who brings a broken frame of her son's picture, and shows it to Paul and says, I told you, the spirit of our son is with us. See, he never liked this picture, that's why he broke this frame. That's when the doorbell rings and they meet a couple, in which the husband's name was Dave. They say that we are your neighbors and we are here to meet you. Hearing this, Annie says, we have been here for two weeks, but no one has come to meet us yet. Hearing this, Dave says, this is very strange. Whenever someone comes to live in this house, strange things start happening all over the town. Paul talks to him about why this is so. Dave tells him that a family used to live here a while ago, who had shifted to this house for the first time. They had a funeral parlor, which meant that they used to prepare the dead people and bury them. Later, rumors started spreading all over the town that they sell the dead bodies to the medical hospital, and bury the empty coffins in the grave. When the townspeople found out about all this, they threw the family out of here. Then the head of the family started drinking, because of which he died. When Dave's wife doesn't know anything about this, Dave silences her. Then they leave. Dave also tells her that this house is very old. Today, after a span of 30 years, a new family has moved into this house. He calls this house by the names of those old people. Hearing this, Paul says, no, this is our house now. Dave's wife goes and shakes Annie's hand. She grabs something and leaves. It was a note in which it was written that this house needs a family every 30 years. So leave this house as soon as possible. Anyway, Paul doesn't take this very seriously. When they were sleeping at night then Anne's eyes open. She feels as if someone is standing at her door. But as soon as she looks, there was no one there. So she goes back to sleep. Then we see a shadow of a ghost on their family photo. In the morning, a man came to their house to fix the electricity. That man starts doing his work in the basement. Then Annie comes to Paul, who says that I have called my friends who are paranormal investigators. They have the ability to communicate with the ghost. And I want to know that is there really a ghost in our house or our son's spirit? When that man was checking the electricity in the basement, then the light in the basement starts to burn. The man spots a girl seated on the stairs. He goes near and finds out that she was not an ordinary girl, but a ghostly soul. Suddenly someone grabbed that man's hand. When Paul comes back to the basement, that man was sitting in the corner, and one of his hands was badly burnt. Paul calls the ambulance. During this whole incident, we see three ghosts in the basement, whose bodies were flamed. The next morning, Paul calls the company that fixes the electricity. He felt that the worker must have got a shock. He says to them that please solve the problem of my house quickly. After that, strange incidents start happening in Paul's house. Seeing this, Paul was also scared. He also wanted to know the secret behind this. That's why he says to Annie that he called his friends, who were paranormal investigators. When they come to his house, Annie's friend tells him that her son is also coming here soon. He called his son, because his son and Annie's son were very good friends. And they needed him to do the ritual magic. In the evening, when they go to eat, everyone in the hotel was looking at them with strange eyes. Paul mentions, we're new in this town, so maybe that's why everyone is looking at us. On the other hand, we see Annie's friend's son who had gone to Annie's house with his friend, where he does not find anyone. Because everyone had gone to eat in the hotel, Annie's friend's son decides to stay in the house and was having a lot of fun. Then they hear a voice from the basement. 
That's why when Annie's friend's son goes to check in the basement, then the same ghosts attack him and kill him. The boy's friend had also seen all this. She was very scared to see all this. That's why she takes her car and runs away. But when she sees her car mirror, then a ghost was sitting in the back seat of her car. Before the girl does anything, the ghost crosses his hand over his body, which kills him too. On the other hand, when Annie, Paul, and their friends come home after eating from the hotel, Annie's friend does not find her son. There we are shown the same hotel where Anne had gone to eat with everyone. The owner of the hotel asks her waitress what they were talking about. She says that the couple was telling their friends that they feel something strange in their new house and they should vacate this house as soon as possible. That's when Dave comes to the hotel door, who we had also seen at Annie and Paul's house, who was their neighbor. Who comes and kills that waitress, who was telling all this. The owner of the hotel asks her why did you kill my waitress. He says why did you send her to those people. Here we get to know the real secret of the story. Dave tells that this house needs a family every 30 years to kill. Then Paul and Anne shifted to that house. If they leave here safely, then a lot of things will go wrong. The darkness of that house will spread in the entire town, which will endanger everyone's life. Here we get to know one more thing, in the beginning of the story, the family about which Dave had told Annie and Paul, who also had a funeral parlor. They themselves did not go anywhere from here. In fact, the people of this town fired them here and killed them. Those ghosts were of those people who used to kill every person who came to that house. But so far they had not killed Annie and Paul. That's why Dave decides that if those ghosts did not kill Annie and Paul, then we will kill. On the other hand, Annie's friend tells her that I feel a dark force in your house. There is someone in this house who has been hidden for years, but he is not your son. At night, Paul sees someone standing outside his door. He felt like Annie's friend was standing there, but Annie's friend was sleeping with her husband. Suddenly, she also wakes up. She also had a dream. She tells her husband that a lot of people have lost their lives in this house. This house is not good at all. On the other hand, the door of Paul's room was open and a ghost attacks him. But soon his eyes were open. That means he was just having a dream. Having breakfast in the morning, Annie's friend tells everyone that I am feeling suffocated in this house. That's why Annie took him to the market to buy some household items. Annie's friend's husband was preparing for ritual magic in the house, so that through this ritual he can talk to those ghosts who live in this house. In the market, Annie's friend tells her that you should leave this house soon. Because there is a shadow of some dark power in your house. That's why Dave goes there who started talking to them. When Annie's friend listens to her, she finds it strange. Annie's friend asks Dave that the family that lived before Annie, did she really leave this house? Dave says yes, it is like that. But she says no, it is not like that. You are lying. Because last night I saw a family in that house who is dead. In Annie's house, Paul and his friend's husband start doing ritual magic. Suddenly all the candles were extinguished. The spirit throws away Annie's friend's husband. He also understood that this is not the spirit of Annie's son. That spirit possessed Annie's friend's husband and took control of him. In a while, Annie and her friend also come home. She sees that Paul has tied Annie's friend's husband, and there was a cloth in his mouth. When she asks Paul, Paul tells her the whole story. That there is a spirit in him which is very dangerous. That's when Anne's friend's husband who was possessed by the spirit takes off that cloth and tells everyone that this is my house. Go away from here. That's when the phone rings, which Dave's wife was doing, so that she could tell the truth. But someone stabbed her from behind. While dying, she tells Annie that I told you to leave this house soon. That's when Annie's friend hears all this and goes to the basement. There she also found out about her son's death which makes her very angry with that spirit, and she starts attacking her husband because that spirit was inside him. She says, tell me why did you do this? Annie also asks that spirit why did you do this to the people of the town? That spirit tells her, do you believe what that man Dave said? He is lying. That spirit tells her, Dave had awakened a demonic spirit in this house for which he fired my whole family, and that's why the basement of this house always smelled of burning. And the owner of the hotel was also known by Dave because she was a part of his cult. After knowing all this, Annie's friend was still trying to make her husband conscious, so that the spirit leaves him. That's when the spirit picks up a rod and attacks her husband's eyes, with which he dies there. Seeing this scene, the three started running away. That's when Annie's friend opens the door and Dave comes, and shoots her in the head with which she dies there. Annie and Paul run back inside the house. Here Dave had also brought the owner of the hotel and the rest of the people of the cult, who wanted to kill Annie and Paul, and give that demonic power. They were all looking for Annie and Paul in the whole house. 
but the ghosts of that family whom they had fired and killed before, they killed them one by one. A bloodbath had begun in this house. There was death everywhere. It seemed as if those ghosts wanted to kill the people of Dave, and save Annie and Paul. When the owner of the hotel goes to Annie to kill her, Annie had a lot of knives in her hand. She kills all the knives at once in the neck of the owner of the hotel, due to which she also died. After which Annie and Paul start running away. So Dave came in front of them who says that this house needs a family sacrifice every 30 years. So you will have to die. It is my helplessness. Then the leader of that family comes behind Dave, whose family he had fired and killed. He grabs Dave's head and crushes it. Due to which Dave had also died. All the souls of that family were freed, who had been trapped here for 30 years. Annie and Paul hear their son's soul from the basement, who says I am with you. This was the reason that Annie repeatedly felt her son's soul. We see Paul who hears his son's voice and goes to the basement. He had a smile on his face. And while showing this smile, the story of the film ends here.